ground as per the floor plan. The thermal wrap and the tires go up at the same time with the back bearing. It's a process that goes up one tire at a time providing the thermal wrap and burial support for the tires as they go up. Uh, again following the floor plan. The cisterns go in at this point as the in the appropriate place and uh, rebar pins go in to anchor the bond beam which is formed by aluminum cans uh, to the tire work. The birdcage steel goes in at the same time uh, anchored into the bond beam itself. The birdcage is a form for a ferro-cement uh, vaulted roof structure. Here you can see how it is anchored into the bond beam with the steel. Uh, it is set up to receive several coats of plaster and be a ferro-cement dome. The little footing across the front uh, will take uh, some framing uh, as per the architectural drawings. Non-bearing framing, just filling in for glass and a door. The vaults are then plastered and uh, the first coat of plaster usually has some fiber in it to make it so it doesn't go through the mesh that is inserted underneath the rebar and like I say three or four coats of plaster gives us a ferro cement dome that's very safe, very lightweight. Uh, next we would be looking at the masonry work of aluminum cans going up around the vaults with a batter slightly leaning in and uh, a wrap of insulation and then uh, filled with dirt for a very simple thermal roof detail that will allow us a plane of earth on which to pour a slab that will give us a basic slab roof. We usually put insulation down there depending on the climate before we pour the slab. The slab then will drain into the cisterns. Uh, this is using bottle or can masonry to form up for the dirt. Uh, we usually put a vapor barrier in right uh, after the insulation as well under the slab. And then we bring the same detail around the little vaults, uh, cap the thermal wrap, and uh, bring the earth up for the final burial and there's the gutter going into the cistern. Now we have the cisterns being wrapped in insulation and the final burial and shaping of earth going on to wrap the building. The front face greenhouse carpentry goes in and the insulation on top of the greenhouse, the metal flashing, uh, the place for the panels is delineated and they're installed. The operable gravity skylight is installed and the building is essentially uh, put together at this point. We insulate the tire work in front of the greenhouse, put metal over it, bring up a burial there to snug the building in and we are looking at the basic structure being done. Then planting goes in the botanical cells and uh, landscaping and we end up with a uh, simple survival model earthship. Uh, drawings, uh, architectural drawings for the systems will accompany this. Now we're looking inside the room uh, out toward the botanical cells which are planted as soon as possible. Uh, again, drawings for them are in the architectural set of how to achieve that. Uh, so this is the overview of the building. Now we're looking at doing replications uh, as it is uh, possible to do this in two U's, uh, three U's, four U's, however many you want. Uh, the same process is applied to make a, a full-on home uh, as many rooms as you want. Uh, taking this basic model and turning it into uh, quite a large home if necessary. It is a very simple set of details to put together uh, to replicate several times over and make a proven uh, earthship with all systems working.